hit high and deep to left field. Back on it is the left fielder, and it's gone! It's a solo shot for Mark Canna, his second of the game, as they've widened this lead to eight now. Second home run of the game right there. He is locked in at the plate. You hear so many of today's players talk about rhythm and timing. Well, he is perfectly on. Welcome back to another episode on Speedhole Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. In this episode, we take a look at a PlayStation exclusive game now playable on Microsoft's Xbox One and Series systems MLB The Show 21. Playing sports games growing up is a huge part of my life with the NFL football games leading the charge. I probably wasn't into true MLB baseball games until World Series Baseball by Sega. Although I love playing the game heavily with friends, I never was able to complete a season on my own like in NFL football games. I mostly play the game as a huge baseball fan, but in exhibition games at home or online with friends. The extras never appeal to me as to make your own player or with home line derby. I actually have yet to play a true baseball simulation since my team, the San Francisco Giants, lost in the World Series in 2002. With MLB The Show 21 now on Xbox and on Game Pass, I quickly jumped at the chance to once again play a real simulation of my favorite sport, baseball. Please understand that this review will be based on the playability and not on the franchise modes, choose your own destiny or extra options. I've always played baseball games one on one in exhibition or against friends and that is how my review is going to be. Quickly we found that it was difficult in learning how to challenge one another but once that was out of the way we were off to the races. The game's presentation is very authentic and the visuals look nice. Do they look like a Series X or PlayStation 5? Nice? No. But the game does well enough in playing in 4K and 64 frames per second and is absolutely smooth as butter in motion. Although the animation is smooth, it is way too smooth at times as the animations to me hamper the field of play at times causing errors on otherwise routine plays. In 2017, just two simple words. All right, Aaron Judge burst onto the scene, and what's really cool about the Judge? Oh, but they throw it away at second. Luckily for them, the left fielder retrieves this ball quickly. Lifted in the air toward the line and right on the move is Fowler. He's around second now, and they still haven't gotten to this thing. And the Mets are in business now. It's a when playing online, the speed of the ball when pitch does not seem like it moves at real time, but to the batter, it is much faster and takes getting used to. The pitching is probably where the real fun of the game is where you can use pinpoint accuracy like Greg Maddox that paints the corners. Also, the real-life aspect comes into play when you don't get all the calls you expect to get, even when it was an obvious strike. The game will react to how the game flows, and if you aren't pitching so great, they tend to not give you the borderline pitches, and vice versa when you're pitching for a shutout. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. 3-0 and oh now. I'm sure he's frustrated by that call. Probably could have been a strike, but at the same time, earning strikes from the umpire is a real thing. If you've been all over the place like he has, you're just not going to get much help from the umpires. Batting is also very intuitive, as you can aim the bat to hit in different directions, especially if you want to move the runner up or to take advantage of the defense. Guessing the pitch will also get you extra points, as if you guess right, you might be able to hit the baseball and get a base hit or more. There is also a small jingle to warn both players if the batter guesses right. The one in the driver's seat. Three and two now. Now the payoff pitch home. Hit hard towards center. And a base hit and that'll get the run in from third.
Oh, and this ball is absolutely blasted. High and deep. Home run derby is also a fan favorite, and I felt that the developers did their best that they could to do with online play. As you play, you will see other players' hits as they come in various different colors and rankings consistently changing due to the home runs selected. Be aware that due to actual stats, not any player can let loose and become a home run hitter. Other than hitting home runs, that feature becomes stale really quick. IU San Francisco Giants modern day favorites, but really didn't have a chance in comparison when I chose Ken Griffey Jr., who seemed to hit home runs with ease. Stats really make how you play the game that much different as a pure singles hitter probably won't hit a grand slam for you and you should use them as such. This creates more strategy in playing them the correct way instead of aiming for the bleachers every time. Overall, I love the pitching most of all as you need to mix up the pitches strategically to gain the upper hand against your opponent by throwing a 96 mile per hour fastball followed up with an 89 changeup. These minor details really make an impact in fooling your opponent. Again, remember, he struck out the side in the last inning, and now he picks up right where he left off by striking off the leadoff man here. Let's see if he can keep this going for a little bit. Although the stats are indeed important, I do hate it when the pitcher is overpowering and could drag the action down. Against the computer, is fun for a shutout, but when you have two live opponents, have their aces going. A line like 12 strikeouts and one hit is common on both sides and really drags the action down to a standstill. Although the game's overall presentation really impresses greatly as this is the closest baseball simulation in today's gaming arena, MLB The Show 21 still feels a bit slow, especially in the field where the animations take over too much making the part of the gameplay feel frustrating and sluggish. MLB The Show 21 gets an 8.0 out of 10 for its very addicting gameplay against others and the CPU that is dragged down by sluggish field gameplay that, although represent real life baseball, comes frustrating in completing routine plays. Still a great baseball simulation game that I will be playing over and over again. That's it for me on this look at the first baseball simulation game for the Xbox Series X. Please like and subscribe if you like my video. Beho out and Greg take us out of here and I will see you all next upload. The 0-2 delivery. Got him for an even 20 strikeouts now thus far as he's just been flat unhittable. Wow, talk about being efficient. How about six pitches, two strikeouts? Doesn't get much better than that. Damn. Keep, keep, who cares? My season climbs to the who's who here. Freestyle, so free style. Beat me, lean over the on a mile. Really be less of a candy. Less of a dandy. School guy, AA's like when it was Randy. Keep with the toys like a Mike in the 80s. Still got no brand.